Hi teachers, this video is going to walk you through creating assignments for your students in Google Classroom. Um, I'm going to create a couple of different assignments so that you can understand how they work. Keep in mind, I am not creating assignments for the mega math or the um, animated math models. While wonderful tools, unfortunately, both run Flash. And so any student trying to access their work on a mobile device will be met with an error message that we cannot fix. Um, and that's not even something we can troubleshoot. So I'm going to start with um, assigning the interactive student edition. This may be your best bet for assigning with students because it's going to walk them through the entire lesson and provide um, guided steps and tutorials for families as well as all of the um, other things like the math on the spot to go with it and walkthroughs and help within that personal math trainer. So interactive student editions actually include personal math trainers. To assign an interactive student edition, you'd want to type in ISE and then whatever number your lesson is. So let's say I'm doing lesson 1.1. Um, I type that in. On the far side, I'd want to select whatever grade level so that I can get to just what I need. And then I want to make sure I look at which one I'm going to assign. You can see ISE teacher view, ISE student view. If you want to see exactly what the students will see, you simply click on the blue link and you can go through the whole lesson yourself as a teacher even and know exactly and what your students different. are going to get. When you're ready to assign, you simply click Assign. You'd want to put an assignment name in here that you will provide in the directions for students. Sometimes I keep it as simple as do, do first, or maybe ISC 1.1, whatever you would like to give for students. I would suggest keeping your directions here very simple. Um, you have to put something in there, but do works very well. Then you would select a class. Um, keep in mind from your class dropdown, you want to make sure you select your math class. I did not set up everyone else's other classes for assignments, so you may have some trouble if you're not selecting your math class. Okay, let's say I'm assigning this to first grade. I don't even quite know what grade level I pulled. <laughs> and then if I have a group, I can select the group. I select all of the students or just one of the students, click add, make sure that I set my dates for when I want this assignment to show up for students. Be very careful with this because if your dates aren't the right window, as soon as the due date comes along, this will disappear from the student's feed. Allow the students to pause the activity, that should be default on yes. Allow students to see their answers. Absolutely yes, considering this is um, remote learning. And then you would simply click save and say yes, you wanna save your changes. And then here I can see on my assignment feed that I, at any time I can edit, delete, or copy this and I can turn on and off the ability to show answers. At the elementary level for this type of work, absolutely students should be able to see their answers so they can get instant feedback. If at any point I need to get back and see those assignments, I simply click on the blue assignment tab here. The second one I'm going to walk through creating is a personal math trainer. So personal math trainer, you search by PMT and then the lesson number. You go over to the side, select, and then I always suggest signing, assigning the homework and not the share and show test and quizzes. The homework will provide students with walkthroughs and feedback on their answers where the test and quizzes is a little bit more based on assessment, which during this time that feedback is going to be extremely important. So I would click the assign and then here it will ask, do you want to modify the resource before you assign it or add it to the assignment directly. My suggestion would be to add directly. And for the reason you would do this is because then it allows in the background, if a student doesn't do very well on the assignment or they do um, really well on the assignment, they could potentially get another piece of enrichment for them. 
So I would just click add, do not modify. Again, put your assignment name, whatever you want to call it. Instructions, keep them simple. Choose your class. Select a group. If you have one, add your students. Make sure you set your available date and due date. Down here, we are going to, yes, see their answers. Mastery level default 75%, leave that be. This is where you want to pay attention. So adaptive workflow means if the student meets a certain um, threshold on the assignment or maybe they don't do well enough on the assignment, it could potentially push them more work. So I want to turn on the adaptive workflow and my suggestion is to turn on the daily intervention in enrichment. This sounds a little confusing because it's not actually going to provide enrichment. What this means is if the student scores 90% or higher, it's going to provide them another activity that is enrichment. If you choose the personal study plan, it's going to work in the opposite direction. So if the student scores less than 80%, it's going to provide them another assignment. For this remote learning time, I would strongly recommend doing the daily intervention enrichment because we know a lot of our high learners are looking for extra things to do. I would recommend against doing the personal study plan because our struggling learners are probably already going to be struggling with this assignment and be a little frustrated to get yet another assignment given to them. So here I can set a threshold. The default is 90%. So again, that means if a student scores 90% or higher, they will get an enrichment activity automatically assigned to them by Think Central. I click Save. I say yes. And it's finished. Do keep in mind when you assign a personal match trainer, you do not have to assign an adaptive workflow. You can just simply leave that be. So um, you can also, the one other thing that will work for all students is assigning a math on the spot video. Um, do keep in mind that you can link directly to the math on the spot videos where you cannot link directly to the interactive student edition or personal math trainer because they require students to be signed in.